Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I have a problem out of chapter 10 that I want to go over for you uh, and answer a student question. This is a contingency table problem, and the question gives us some data. This is uh, summary data. They've gone out and collected data from, I guess, a survey, and they've got these counts of um, the educational attainment by adults. They want to know the relative frequencies by rows, the conditional relative frequencies by rows. And we can get that very quickly using StatCrunch. I have another problem, a video on this problem, but I, I neglected to actually give you this particular answer. I glossed over it. So let's go to our little symbol there, open in StatCrunch. We have our, our data. This is summary data. It, it's not raw data. We've got a column labeled status, and that gives us the names of our three rows in our three by four contingency table. And then we've got our four columns across here with these labels, not a high school, high school, some college, associate's degree. All we need to do is go to stat, tables, contingency, summary. And we want to select our four columns hold down my shift key. We want to select the row names by selecting that status column. And because this question wants us to give answers about the row, we select the row percent in the display. And down below here, I'm going to leave it select for the chi-square. And I'm just going to click compute. And so we get an answer here we have our contingency table, the top, according to our legend here, are our counts, and the numbers in parentheses in each one of these cells is the row percent. Now that is the same thing as the row conditional relative frequency, except we need to convert these percents into decimals because my stat lab wants them as decimals. So we would take this first intersection here, employed, not a high school graduate, the conditional relative frequency in that row is 8.36%. We just multiply that times 100 would be 0 0.084, rounding the three decimal places. Down here on the other end in this particular intersection of associates, bachelor's, or advanced degree, whoops, not in labor force, it's 28.35%, which would equate to a conditional relative frequency of 0.284, rounding to three decimal places. So that's really all you have to do to get the conditional relative frequency by rows. If they ask you for the conditional relative frequencies by columns, we just click on that edit in the options, select the column percent, Click Compute again. We would get another set of uh, numbers here. This time it gives us the column percent, which you would convert into the column conditional relative frequencies. So again, that's how you get either the row or column conditional relative frequencies. Hope this helps.